At this point, I'm just getting a bit tired, guys. Big Dragon is back and it's better. I mean, it's fine. Let's get into it. The episode begins with Mangkorn coming out to his mom, who already said she was fine with him dating anyone. So, why? We learn he has liked Yai since they were freshmen, and he's a softie. We learn Yai sees Nine as a brother, and then lets him kiss him anyways. Brothers don't do that, but I guess it's cool because Yai doesn't like it. He just lets it happen enough that Mangkorn sees it. Cut to Mancorn finding out if he can leave the country in sadness and letting us know that shock they had met when they were kids and he still has a memento of their time together. Yai makes it clear that brothers don't kiss and he doesn't like Nine like that. But then he's a salty prick to Mancorn who's crying his feelings out to him. He also calls out having seen Yai and Nine kiss, which is nice because at least they don't leave that festering for another episode. When Yai is still a jerk, Mancorn returns the bracelet. At least I think it's a bracelet. And Yai realizes they knew each other, but this hasn't been fleshed out before this point in this episode, and it isn't really reflected on either after this. Yai keeps his bad attitude going when he gets home for his dad and his dad's girlfriend. But it's because he misses his mom. He cries at her grave about being lonely, and I am aware that all of this took 30 minutes of runtime to happen. We jump to Mancorn having his own conversation with a knowledgeable lady, and I wonder what he even likes about Yai. Not much happens besides Mancorn deciding not to go to that overseas trip. He only really just introduced this episode. Mancorn's mom does God's work and makes Yai less annoying this episode. She talks with Yai about his mom, and shock again, the bracelet had been his mom's, and Mancorn helped him think about her. Mancorn's mom orders a dish Yai's mom had ordered some point in the past, and she does a valiant job of not acting as if Yai is crazy when he's crying in front of her before he goes for a hug. Yai sees Nine again and nothing changes. Mancorn talks with his fiance about the same thing he had talked about to his senior, and I wonder why they needed to be two different characters. The solution they come up with for their problem is to talk to their parents and not to give up on their love. The episode ends with Mancorn kissing Yai in front of his friends and his bodyguards, and honestly, it's the best part of the whole episode. And it's one minute long. This week, I am doing away with MVP and favorite character. The episode has its cute moments, but honestly, those just really highlight some of the inconsistencies that is Big Dragon. With two episodes remaining, I have to assume that by the end of this show, we're just going to have some cute moments and potential that isn't quite met. And this is the thing, with a bit more consistency, a smaller cast, and shorter runtime, and more focus on just one or two of the subplots, this could have been better. Big Dragon Episode 6 is a 6 out of 10. It's fine. It has its cute moments, but that's about it. Here's hoping for next week.